Well, as the year comes to an end, many people are scrambling to prepay their 2018 property taxes because they want to get that tax break. But with confusion over the newly signed tax bill, a lot of people aren't sure it's actually going to make a difference. Makia Turner is live at the IRS building this morning. She's trying to clear all things up. Good morning, Makia. Good morning, Ellen. This is something that's on so many people's minds here as the year kind of comes to an end. A lot of people just trying to save money on those 2018 property taxes, but I've got two questions for people this morning. Have you received that property tax bill and have you had that assessment for those anticipated expenses? Well, if you say no, then waiting in line with all of those people, it may not be worth it, unfortunately. Check out some video here because I want to show you a part of uh, this advisory that the IRS sent out yesterday, and it says that a prepayment of anticipated Real property taxes that have not been assessed prior to 2018 are not deductible in 2017. The lines have been long at tax collection offices all across the country, of course, of people just trying to get all of this out the way. And all of this, of course, because of the new tax overhaul signed by President Trump last week that puts a new $10,000 limit on the amount of state and local taxes that people can deduct from their federal tax bill. So again, this puts a lot of pressure, as you can imagine, on uh, some local towns and counties and just people trying to help these folks out because there's just simply not enough time to do those calculations. So again, you kind of take a risk, but if you do know that you have had that assessment and you have received that property tax bill, then you should be good to go. For now, we are live in downtown. Makia Turner, back to you. All right, thanks, Makia. And to learn more about how you can prepay your property taxes, or even if it's worth it to try, just download the free WUSA 9 app. Go to our website, that's WUSA9.com.